got the alternator out of here. Uh, as far as I know, the alternator worked, but I noticed uh, when I was spinning it by hand, it would. Uh, there's a couple of spots where you'd hear it click. I don't know if that was inside with the stators or the... Um, it looked to be inside anyway. So, um, I've got the fuel pump off. I'm going to replace that, and I'm probably going to replace the water pump too. I don't have any evidence the water pump's bad, but uh, while I'm addressing the front here, uh, it also helps me get at the hoses and all that sort of shit, so I think it's a good idea. Um, but in looking through, uh, Kara's been doing some cleanup and whatnot, and she found this alternator that I had bought, uh, I think I bought it for the Chrysler, and just never ended up using this brand new. All the uh, attachments seem to fit and whatnot, so... Those are pretty universal designs now. Everybody's kind of adopted the Chevy design. Uh, this is, you know, this being a Chevy engine anyway. Um, I was hoping that this would uh, this would fit. But also, um, while I was looking for something else entirely, Kara pointed me to a box that was out at the uh, out on our back porch, and it has a whole bunch of stuff that Dad bought and had sitting uh, outside the back door of the uh, of the house. And all kinds of fancy stuff. I was looking for fuel filters recently. And uh, some fuel line and some bitchin' wiring harnesses. I'm not sure exactly what he had in mind for this. Um, I mean, ultimately, the Studebaker doesn't need it. It's pretty wired up. But uh, he had something in mind. Fuse box. Relay. A weird audio pipe. Post clamps, which Karen and I were looking for... Uh, recently. I have some more so Moroso um, wire kits, 6 and 8 cylinder. Dad loves these little, um, you know, accoutrement, like little dice. and So this is for the uh, for the air cleaner there. I'll, I'll probably put it on just in honor of him. I'm going to need some of these. These are steel zip ties. Stainless, I think, yep. I'm going to use some of these um, in order to hold some of the exhaust parts on and stuff like that. Because one of the bolts is cut right off, and, and also some spark plugs that do fit. They're a different uh, diameter in the um, in the wrench size. I'm going to put those in this too later. So everything here I uh, will uh, be using in some fashion or other on the suit maker. There's also some other tools here which I'll uh, put in my kit. Some suspension hanger, um, yeah, hangers, mounts. Not sure exactly what for. Some door latches. That's cool. Anyway. Yeah, I remember there being uh, bags and bags and bags of Summit Racing stuff. I think that's where a lot of this came from. The Merle Soul and the uh, Mr. Gasket stuff. Anyway. I'm going to use whatever of that stuff on the Studebaker here. Whatever makes sense. And, uh... Yeah, I'm also opening this whole area up so that I can inspect and um, get the crank turned and all that sort of good stuff. Get these uh, water hoses off. They're old and crusty. And uh, I didn't think there was any water in there, but when I split that one open to get off, it uh, started to spew out of here. Now, I do have to get this thing jacked up and onto some stands because I can't lean over like this all day and work on it. Things are not looking too bad, really, for the, uh, for the sitting abuse and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, a little update. Should be cool. Talk soon. Bye.